Hello, I'm glad that you're here. I was just getting dressed and I just pulled something in my back. Oh my God, oh my God. It came on so fast and so quick. I had no idea that my back was even hurting like this and I almost couldn't put my pants on. We'll see how this day goes. Hopefully it'll get better fast. I've struggled with my back for years and years and years. <laughs> So I'm not new to this feeling and the place of the injury, like it's right in the middle of my lower back, but like she's putting a boot, a boot in my towel drawer. I don't think it goes there. One of these things is not like the other. Okay, but yeah, I have struggled with this back injury since my early 20s and I know like some things to do. Take the boot out. I know like the exercises and stuff that would keep it healthy, but I just don't do them, which is on me. It's gonna be a chill day, which it's been a chill day. It was a chill day yesterday. So today I've already told Owen like, uh, I'm not gonna be able to pick stuff up and sit on the floor probably. We'll see, we'll see. Hopefully it's not that bad, but oh my, I could not put on my pants for at least a solid five minutes. That was fun. I took the weekend to like recoup because last weekend I was super social, which was great and it was a great time to be social. Like Dave and I had the comedy show at the beginning of the week. I went out and had dinner with my friend Molly. Then Dave and I went out with our friends on Thursday and then I had brunch with my friends on Saturday. And so my social battery is just like, so I've been trying to recharge that. We've had to go through and turn off all of our heat pumps because our electric bill is disgusting. Oh my God. I'm trying to change Poppy's butt so she can go take a nap. We're just chilling over here, huh? I think I've got a second round of baby hairs growing in because what is happening? Keep it on the paper. Paint it. Huh? No, thank you. No. No, I bought it. Here, open. No, it's painting for the paper. I love tape. Well, that was a fun little painting excursion. Both of the kit on oh, my back. <sighs> Trying to do some real mild stretching. So it was a fun little painting excursion. Ate some paint, painted some paint, got paint everywhere. So <laughs> that was a good time. They're currently playing together right now, just running back and forth. I am feeling like in this really like awkward part of parenting. So we use the anatomical names for genitals in this house. And that's not something that like I was raised with or Dave was raised with, so. I'm pushing myself like beyond this comfort zone to do that and it's it's been fine my kid knows the name of his anatomy so we'll just talk about it in <laughs> in conversation at home because he's got questions we're realizing that not everyone has what he has. So now we are navigating that conversation, really pushing me outside of my comfort zone. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty happy about the way that I've handled it and what we've talked about. Also making it very clear that everyone's genitals are their own business. We don't ask them about their genitals. No one asks about yours. Like if they do, you let me know. Like we are starting to step into that territory. And like it just, was not ready, was not ready to step into this, but he has questions and I wanna answer them as age appropriately as possible. My back has been absolutely killing me. We all snuggled on the couch and watched Trolls, which we had never seen before. And now Poppy is having a little snack and Owen is paying, playing on the tablet before we leave for ice skating lessons. And every time I stand up, Every time I step up, it hurts. So, it's <laughs> really fun. I might put some Icy Hot on my back for the second time today before we leave because there is a lot of standing and holding poppy that happens when we go to skate lessons. <sighs> 
Did Dave and I indulge in some Valentine's Day drinks? Yes, we did. Am I regretting it this morning? Yes, a little bit, I am. So we're just gonna have a cuddle day. We are gonna sit on the couch and we're going to snuggle and cuddle and veg. I'm going to take down my Valentine's Day decorations. Yeah, we're just gonna cuddle. We're just gonna be a cuddle puddle. I have also ordered some Dunkin' on DoorDash, so that should be here in about 20-ish minutes. I realized that I drink a lot of coffee and maybe I drink too much coffee. So I think I'm going to start trying to cut back to one coffee instead of two coffees. I actually think I had three coffees yesterday. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I need to take a little break. Um, out of the bin, please. Good. Oh, good, there was beer in it. Uh-oh. <sighs> that was chaotic. If you're wondering, my back does still hurt. It's a little bit better from Monday, but I'm gonna apply some of this. To give that kitty a hug. Wow. Wow. Oh, uh oh. Wee. One of my items didn't make it from Duncan. It's fine though because it was like extra anyway. Like it's not something I usually get, so not having it is fine. Pops in her seat, enjoying some hash browns and a quarter of a munchkin. Was it yummy? Yeah, she's looking sleepy, but I was reading this thing online because she has never really taken two naps and she's at that age where if she was taking two naps, she would start transitioning to one. And one of those sites that I was reading, because it's been so long since I had a 15 month old, said that you should let them be awake for like five to five and a half hours before trying to put them down for a nap. So that's what we're gonna do today. We got out of bed about a quarter to seven, so we're gonna wait until about noon. Yeah, is that yummy? Mala doesn't need any. She doesn't. She's just dropping food down for Mala. Usually she starts getting sleepy around 10.30, 11 o'clock. Sometimes when she's with my mom on Friday morning, she'll fall asleep right after we leave for gymnastics, so like 9 a.m. So I'm just gonna try this out that I read on this random website because sometimes you gotta ask Google how to parent. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. Just got off the phone with my dad to wish him a happy birthday. My phone has been acting up so much lately. I, half my screen doesn't work, firstly, and my SIM card has always been funny, so sometimes I just won't be able to call. I'll be out and about and my SIM card will be like jolted or jilted inside the, the, the SIM card tray and it just won't work. So I have to like beat my phone <laughs> until it like wiggles itself back into place and I can use it to call again. So I couldn't call him for a minute because my SIM card's been, is being funny. And my Facebook messenger is like broken on my phone for some reason, so I couldn't message my mom to be like, I'm trying to call dad, can you let him know I'm trying to call him to wish him a happy birthday? But my dad's birthday today is 55. So happy birthday to my dad. Him and my mom are going out for dinner tonight and that'll be all nice and cool and fun. And then we were just talking about softball because season is coming. It's on the horizon. I need to sit down for like two hours at night and just like sort out my life. There's so many things I need to sort out before March. Are you climbing on the toy box again? I just let her know. Yeah? Yeah. Oh yeah? So Owen and I are gonna snuggie on the couch and see if Poppy will wanna join us. We're just gonna have a little fun time. <sighs> I'm out of breath, you'll see why in a second. Last July, I did a Christmas in July, so it was like a rainy day. So we put an air mattress in the living room, we hung up Christmas lights, and we watched Christmas movies all day. And Owen brought up recently that he wanted to put the air mattress back in the living room. Now the air mattress is packed away and it also had a hole in it, so mattress in the living room. <laughs> so they're jumping, having a good time, and then once the novelty of it being out here and the jumping is all done. We'll pile pillows and blankets and then just do a big cuddle pile. They're just gonna jump on it now. <laughs> I'm watching. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So if you're struggling on keeping toddlers entertained, mattress in the living room. 
Poppy has been napping for almost an hour and a bit, an hour and a half, I think. We have been snuggle cuddling, watching Gabby's dollhouse. My mom came, she's upstairs working, and she's gonna come down afterwards and maybe hang out for like an hour before she goes to have dinner with my dad for his birthday. I'm hanging out with Cece. My mom said that she is not eating, like she's refusing to eat and she can't hear. She's like going deaf and she keeps shivering. She's probably in some pain. So my mom is booking a vet appointment for her very soon. See if they can give her something just to be a little more comfortable. She's hanging out right now with us on our cuddle bed. The kids and I are prepping the house to have it cleaned this morning. So we're just going around, tidying up. We took the mattress out this morning and we've done vacuuming. And now I've got some dishes to do. It's meant to be 52 degrees today. So I think we're gonna drive around a little bit. We're gonna let Poppy sleep. And I'm gonna pack like a little lunch. And I think we might go to a playground today because it's gonna be so warm out today. I'm so excited. Like I don't even know how to dress the kids for this weather. I think we're gonna go to the playground, test Poppy out in boots, and then after all of that, I think we'll go down and do the story walk. So I think that's gonna be fun today. Literally don't know how to dress for this weather or to go outside, honestly. <laughs> we have not gone outside for a while, but I think our chill day yesterday has given me, like filled my energy reserves to go out today. But we do need to drive around, let Poppy sleep first, because that's gonna hit around her nap time. So might as well get the nap out of the way, wake up, eat food, play. I think that'll work well for us today. We say that, but you gotta be prepared with toddlers for anything and everything to set them off and just set you in a, on a different path. You are so helpful with your Dorito fingers. Oh, and licking all the clean utensils. Got it? There they are, all of Poppy's utensils. Yay. Try to put them all in one hand. Goober. All right. Mommy does need to do dishes, so I do need you to get out of the way. You know what? I did not have patience today. I, I was not ready to handle the needs of toddlers today. I was very short fused to the point where I was like, we need to leave early. So we left before our cleaner showed up. So I invented her a pin so she can just pin pat her away into our house and we went on a drive. Poppy took a little nap. I can hear her now, she's awake and Owen is asleep. So I've got a couple options. One option is to pop into Hannaford and get us some snacky lunchy bits and also use the bathroom because I'm gonna need to use the bathroom. Um, grab some snacky lunchy bits and then go to the playground. It is 54 right now. So like spring is coming, it's coming. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So we can do that and go eat at the playground or we can go into a restaurant and then go to the playground. Maybe we should go in to Hannaford either way because I need to use the bathroom and I'm going to assume Owen's going to need to use it soon too. The playground went well, Poppy went down a tall curly slide a couple times by herself did not want to go with me wanted to do it by herself so then i had to run around the structure to like get back down where she was waiting at the bottom of the slide so that was fun uh everything was like icy and snowy and wet like everything had like a layer of slushy wet stuff on to the, on the top so poppy fell down a few times because she's new at walking in boots and walking on uneven ground so she got wet <laughs> she got a little wet i went the wrong direction i put her in a jacket regular pants when i should have done sweatshirt snow pants so that was my bad but we're home now we're eating some snacks watching some tv and hopefully chilling out i can't believe i thought today was going to be easy my mom's here she's playing in the other room with owen poppy is asleep I'm about to put popcorn shrimp in the oven. I just made a tea and I'm about to play some Sims. Uh, I can't believe I thought today was going to be easy. Poppy's teeth are getting the best of her, I think. And I'm just not coping well with the needs that she has because of it. Very clingy. She's getting into that one year old phase where she's doing a lot of hitting, she's doing a lot of hair pulling and biting sometimes and last night she was nursing every time she woke up she, first of all she slept horribly last night oh my gosh so bad just bad sleeping we woke up at one point she was standing over me for like two hours last night Let's go to sleep but when she was nursing last night she would just bite me and then the same thing happened today she would just 
bite me. I'm like really caught in the spot. Like it hurts and you don't need to be nursed anymore. So she's very close to being cut off if she can't stop biting me. And you just can't reason with a one year old. Who'd have thought? So don't really know how to manage that. Struggling with that. I am struggling with managing that at the moment, which kind of sucks, but tis what it is. I'm just gonna play The Sims for the rest of the night and let my mom hang out with Owen. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.